welcome to Parade Handmade. This week I want to show you my two projects, you know, my lovely blue sweatshirt and my bag. And I have been doing a bit of work on them. But I also want to start off a few new projects. I want to welcome subscriber number 24 again. It's not the same person, but you're still very welcome. Somebody jumped off, but somebody jumped on. So the number is still 24. And I want to welcome that new person. So this is a new problem for me. If someone jumps off and someone jump, jumps on, still the same amount of people, but I want to make everyone feel nice and welcome. So number 24, who would have been number 25, is super welcome. And I'm going to put a la la up here for them. And uh, so long to the other number 24. It wasn't the other number 24. It was a different person. But uh, so long to them. And I hope they find exactly what they need in YouTube or elsewhere. This is my little bag. Now, I don't know if you can see it very well, but I've done some embroidery. It's the chain stitch all along up to Little Flower. It's all embroidery. And I have my, my little strawberries all done. And I've just added these little flowers. I want to, for the design of it, if you can see, have it a little bit varied. I, I want it to be natural and I want to embellish it a little bit more and more. So that's where I am with that project. I don't think I'm going to do any applique or anything like that on it. I'm going to do more embroidery, nice quiet embroidery at night. Won't make a big fuss about it. I might wait now until I'm finished it to show you that project again. And now my this, this one is the blue one and I'm really pleased with it. Now it doesn't look as obvious. It's very, see the blanket stitch all around the neck and I did it in kind of vibrant green to match my vibrant colors in the van now i'm going to bring it up close to you so you can see blanket stitch blanket stitch and then i did a tiny i don't think you're going to see it but a tiny gold thread little straight stitch inwards all the way along it was like it's a top stitch but i did it straight out if you understand me it's just little very glistening and really sweet i turned it inside out in the end and I took the tags off it, which I've eaten up a little. So it has that lovely kind of fluffy feeling like the inside of a sweatshirt. So that is really nice. And it has all the lovely seams on the outside, which I really love. I just really, really love it. And it's kind of cool when you can use the neck that you've cut out of here for part of your design because it keeps all the material together. Now this, I did finally. I just resisted it and resisted it. That's that fusible interlining or lining, fusible lining that I showed you a week or two ago. And they are little patches of, just patches of nice material that I, I like. Basically what I did was I turned them all upside down in a big collage, close together because they're kind of scraps, but I want to use them because they're pretty. And I put my big piece down under and I just made sure I got as much material under my piece, glue side down. And then I just ironed it on a hot temperature on a towel. Towel, material, the lining. Sticky side down on top of the back of my materials. Ironed it on and you get this, it's one piece. So now what I'm gonna do is I can cut out these, this, the shapes that I want and I will just sew them onto my fleece. I'm just going to cut out some nice shapes for the applique. I might cut it in shape of flowers or I might go around these flowers and I want it as a kind of corsage there on the blue sweatshirt. So I might show you a little bit of that later. I'm going to do a little bit of it and come back to that later just briefly and show you what I mean. But for now, I want to talk about my new projects. So now this is my first one. I bought this, I'm not sure when, but a while back in a secondhand shop or thrift shop, however you say it, charity shop. And I love the depth. I love the colour. And it is a little summer dress and it has an elastic band right there on your tummy, which is not where I want it. And then it's just a skirt then below. So what I want to do is make the most out of this. Basically, I really love the way the shoulders are cut straight down. It's just the tiniest little cap, but I want to get rid of that band. So what I'm going to do is it looks pretty. It's a nice thick waistband. It's just an elastic. So I am going to relieve it of the stitches there. And I think what I'll do is cut below that. I want to take out the elastic basically for starters. So I'll investigate that first. I'll show you progress in a minute. 
The next thing, it's simple. These are simple things. This is a pretty dress. I've worn it a couple of times, but it never seemed to be punchy enough. It's beautiful colours. I just wanted to make it emphasise it. So I'm going to sew that little ribbon around the bottom. It's a dress. I wear it over jeans. It's really nice over jeans. So that is a little ribbon that I'm attaching. See, I've pinned on just before the, the frill at the bottom of the the item and this one is a pair of gorgeous trousers if I was slimmer I'd wear them and I don't know anyone who will wear them so I can't just give them away to somebody they'll just go into the you know cash for clothes and gone into just recycling recycling so I'm going to recycle they've got a lovely they're kind of combats but it's very silky it could be viscose or it could be silk it's really nice material so turn them inside out I plan to take off the stitching on the inside of the leg this is a great one. This was a dress, a beautiful dress. And it's much, as a dress, it was too small for me on the top. So what I did was I just cut off, it's kind of jersey material, kind of like a light t-shirt material. But it's the, the joy of this is that it's right down to the ground. And I love long, long, long skirts and things. So I've chopped off the top above the waist. I am going to turn it down as though you were making a hem for the bottom of a pair of trousers. Just tuck it in small. And tuck it in big and I'm just going to run an elastic through that nice decent size elastic and I'll just use it as that as the elastic and there won't be any issue then with the other elastic getting too tight if I sew little tight stitches all the way along these are gorgeous they're really pajamas but I've always used them as trousers and because they're pajamas they're not made to be very, very strong, but I really love the color and the texture and the style. So I'm just going to repair them. I think it's just a little hole at the bottom of a pocket. You know where you put your hands in the pockets? And that is just going to take me. Yeah, it is. And it's kind of very soft material, so it's kind of splitting. So it's, I think it's going to just happen on and off. So just a little repair so I can wear them a couple of times. And then you see if you can stop a stitch in time saves nine as they say see the little hole there at the bottom of the pocket so i'm not going to say that i'm never going to use the pocket again because i will i have a t-shirt the neck was too high i don't like that and so i cut the neck out and i have it hemmed and i'm going to just sew that on all around sew it all around and then i will possibly do a little bit of decoupage on it or applique and we'll see get a coffee now go for it with my little bits of designs and that and show you what I've come up with. See you in a couple of minutes. <laughs> so here you go. That's that piece of elastic that came out of the red dress. Some little bits of red thread on it still. It was secured at both sides. So watch out for that. If you unsecure it at one end and you're pulling it through and it won't come, it's probably secured at the other side to keep it, you know, upright. That came out. That's great. And I'm on to this little black dress. So basically what I'm going to do is with a little piece of material that I have here is fold it down just a little bit and then I'm going to evenly as I can as evenly as I can just bring it down making sure that the width of this is going to house my elastic nicely and then I'm going to hem it there all the way along just try and do it nice and evenly that you don't have any pulls in it it's just to do it as neatly as possible down so that, that you don't have a rough edge and then down below the elastic. I did it on both sides and then I'll do it in a balanced kind of a way across to the other side. I'll do it in the centre now maybe just to keep it as even as possible. And as they say, the inspectors aren't going to be out. So as you see, I'll do that. I'll do it all the way along. I will have to stretch that as I'm sewing just so that it's nice and neat and then it'll all fall in. And I'll do it on the same on the other side and I will show you how it works out. So now a little bit of applique on this. I have used this material in the background here as you see in behind the little van. I have this folded up just so you can see the colour scheme. And what I want to do is just do some kind of a corsage sort of down there to give it a little bit of balance so I'm going to use this 
material and I'm going to use the material that I used in the background so it kind of has a little bit of a cohesive design. Now I just want to choose, I could actually just do a stencil of a big flower and just use this as a generalised floral kind of a colouring or I could actually cut out around this and I'm a bit betwixt and between. So this is the dilemma. There's a lot of white too. There's a bit of white on the van. I suppose I would balance it up a little bit. I think I might just do it. Now this is just another little thing. This is a piece of felted material. I got a lovely ball of wool. That was coloured and dyed but it's really rustic and I got it from a lady, a really good crafter in Galway and it was a big ball and I made a hat, a few hats from it but I had these little off cuts so I wanted to make a cat out of this, it's a little bit lopsided so what I'm going to do now is, it just fell out of my bag, I'm just going to balance it up into what I think is a better cat. So what I'll do is, I'm going to use this as I'm just going to do it, you know, a hairy way, just give me easing. Okay, I think I can make a cat out of that. So I'm going to put some of that interlining stuff, the lining, you know, that sticky back lining onto that. That's the little patch I just cut out a second ago. I've cut out this. This is that old embroidered piece of denim, piece of denim, piece of denim, the end of a pair of jeans that I did years and years ago, and I want to use that. Now, I said I wasn't going to use this, but I just thought it was nice. It was a nice theme with animals and birds. So I'm going to cut out a few of these little doggies. So I'm not going to show you each and every one, but I want to show you how I do it just to give you an idea. So I stay about a half a centimetre. I'm going to cut that off there. About a half a centimetre out from the edge. I don't want to get too close to the image. And it's kind of sweet to have a little frame. And you don't have to be too serious about it. Give it a little wiggle when it goes in between the ears, but not too deep. Down and around. Now it's not an exact science, so just give it a little bit of room. And often it's relative to the size of the piece. So if it's his head, a good bit of room. If it's the tail, you know, keep it to the half centimetre. And just so that it looks balanced, you'll know by looking if it's okay. This is the lining. There's my little patches. This is my towel, that's my iron. I have it at about, where, oh, it's right up to the top. So, right up the top it is. Be very careful with it. I have steam in it as well. I don't think that's necessary. That's the shiny side. To protect the fabric, I iron. I put the pieces down as close as I can to each other. So these aren't too crinkly either, so that's good. So they're gonna work, it's gonna work just fine. So you just want to make sure that it's gonna fit in the width of your material that is that part don't forget shiny side down because that's where the glue is make sure to just cover everything with just enough it doesn't have to be more than enough just like that down with your iron don't have it moving around too much this is a nice thick double towel on top of my makeshift table here they say with ironing you don't have to lean too hard i always find myself Helping it. And I'm going to do the same. Whoops. Now, see, they're all nicely stuck on. Well, I'm going to give that an extra run over there because that's not. But you get the gist. So I'm going to put, that will be there. Give it a nice bit of space. I think I'll do them all separately so that I don't, oh, hold on. Now I can make sure I can fit this in. Maybe this way would be better. It's just to try and get it in on the same piece because I'm being frugal. Not there. Oh, is it going to do it? I don't know if it is. Yes. Now, so, the pressure. On you go. It doesn't need to be steamed now, remember. It's just me. I suppose I don't know if it helped or not. Just nice and hot. And I've never done it onto felt before, so... It's material like anything, so I'm sure it'll work. It'll help anyway. You don't really need it on felt, but it will just help. And give them all a little extra go. There you go. Stuck to 
the towel a little bit and there you are so now hi now I'm going to do a little roundup of my progress and show you how I'm getting on I kind of pushed forward on a few places I have all the pins out of this and I have it tacked I'm going to show you up close see I have it tacked all the way around so I'm going to do a row of stitches while I'm watching the telly this week all across the top and the bottom of that ribbon all the way around this one is nearly done but it was a pajama top that I bought on purpose for this I got it in pennies and I cut the neck off it because it was too high because I really like that neck and I like it to be a little bit more like this I'll show you up close I've done that little bit with a little triple thread of embroidery thread all the way around the neckline just nice and subtle I just kept this more beachy New Englandy you know that style a little doggy what are we saying applique sort of I put on the backing put it on there and I did a little outline of just silver all the way around the outline and I'm not sure if it's easy to see and then I just finished it off with a little few buttons down the front they were shiny buttons that I found and I've been dying to use them I save them off tops and things when I'm throwing them out or when they're eventually worn out and have to go to you know recycling I take them off and save them and so luckily I found them in my button box so that's a very simple thing I didn't do much else to that I'm tempted to but then the simplicity of that is probably enough to just give it a fresh new appeal so I've kept the legs the other little pouches are going to be really handy for little bags holding little cotton wool and little accessories and things like that when you're going away or even to have them in your own drawers your own drawers <laughs> two little bags maybe I did get onto the skirt as you can see it's no elastic in it yet so it won't be noticeable when the elastic's in a little hemming stitch all the way along all the way around and on the edges it didn't join up so that's okay just finished it off and the same on the other side now if it was going to be worn on the outside I would have made that super neat but it's not and I am going to find a big fat pin thread it on there close it a safety pin and then run it through out one side I'll sew them together overlap them give them a sew and I'll have my skirt so that's that really I am going to make one big lightweight laundry bag from this single layer it's breathable it's silk I may use a different belt to make it pretty on the top this is the belt and I'll use this belt for something else something fabulous but it means that I can pretty this up with a little bit of lace around the top and use it as a wash bag for holidays or even a wash bag for the house for smalls and things like that and I could possibly even wash them in it so we'll see how that goes but I'm going to make the bag first put the lace in the top of it has the little loops already from the belt it's perfect and I'll show you that next week now moving swiftly onwards to la pièce de la résistance and it is a blue sweater I'm really pleased so look I've got this far I did pin that on I haven't sewn it on yet I decided to put a little bit on the shoulder and so that will be there on you know on that side of the shoulder kind of thing that's there I have my mini bus at the bottom on the other side and I was tempted I put it on this morning to see just where everything landed and it all landed quite nicely and the, the thing does fall off a little bit here or even onto one side so I can wear a strappy top underneath it and a, a t-shirt you know one of those there's a name for them can't remember it. so when it's finished I'll model it I'll make myself model it for you next week I'll show you my accomplished items and I'll start a new project and the new project is going to be a little cat bed crocheted cat bed if you want to try along with me next week you could what you need to get is a little fat little crochet hook about a size 15 or 12 15 or bigger 20 just a really chunky one and if you have an old blanket or if you have an old sheet or just something that you want to rip up and use for something else you want to totally recycle it cut it about an inch wide the the piece of that you're going to make into the, the wool basically so cut about an inch wide go zigzag zigzag all the way up and down along your blanket like that it could be fleece could be wool could be a mixture could be anything and just up and down just about an inch apart
I think. And then if you keep it curved on the edges, you'll be able to uh, roll it into a ball easily enough. And it you won't even see the fact that it's kind of curved on the edges when it comes to crocheting. And I'll show you how to do it. So looking forward to next week. Thank you for watching. Good luck with your stuff. And see you next week. Bye.